Thrones. And today we were, we are the great gamers can eat, by the way, and I'm the bandit, and we're playing Saturn 9. And it's I don't even know what this game is, tell you the truth. I'd I'd give you a pretty well preview of it, but I I have no idea what this consists of. Probably gonna die. Okay. Oh, Oh. The company has lost all the contact company. with their research vessel. I'll research you their vessel. Sent to investigate and recover the data. Oh, so it's like a spaceship. You said ship. I thought it was like a my kind of ship. And this is an indie game that you can buy on Xbox Live. Does it run? Oh, the run sucks. Okay. Already kind of creeped out by this game, not gonna lie. Ash out, Ash! Oh. We are. We've arrived at the research. Well, never mind. He put a voice to his own self. Amanda Holt and her assistant Samuel Curtis are already analyzing their first batch of samples. Engineer Frank Simmons has reported the successful installation of the new O2 system. I've requested an AB from the company. Hmm. Two to three weeks should cover it. We have We arrived at the excavation site and collected as many samples as daylight would allow. Um, Samuel is cataloging first these finds and I'm um, putting them through the mass spec. Initial results are promising. Okay, well, well this... Oh. I shouldn't have the SOS system. Okay. This guy has got to be an Xbox player. Where am I supposed to be going? There are no doors. This whole freezing shit. Whoever made this play, this freaking game, they hate me, okay? Like, why must they put no doors in this whole freaking ship? There's a door to my left, eh? Right there? No, there's no door to my left. How is it? Is that it? What if I left? That right there. That's a door. Yeah. G X X Y. Just a second. That was G. 
That was a G. That was a twas a G. God dang it, you're right. All right, let's run. Jambi. Okay. So that's a door. Not seeing this door. Right. 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 Stand. Left door. Okay, go back to me. Oh my gosh. I'm guessing it is. Where I was going before, you told me not to do it. Ah! Loud doors scare me. They offend me, actually, so they need to be taken off this game. Okay, this is getting really creepy. Okay. Cop style. No, I'm just kidding. And I chose the path less traveled, and it made all the difference. Uh. Hi. That is really creeping me out. What was that? No, boom. Keep going straight. Right? It's 
still in the game? No. Great. My dude's getting wonky. <laughs> Come on, bro. Couple more feet. Hold your damn breath. Now I have to go through this whole ordeal again. Huh? Well, we'll be right back. We'll be right back here in a minute, you know, after I, I guess, get through this oxygen deprived chamber. Well, well, we're back after having no oxygen and almost dying. And oh my God, there's a dead guy on the table. The graphics are so real. Oh no, it's almost like you're there. Do I have a gun? Like. Okay, clearly. Is that what you're talking about, the dying room? Cerebral hypoxia is a form of hypoxia, reduced supply of oxygen, specifically involved the brain. Without sufficient oxygen to sustain life, individuals will feel dizzy and are prone to hallucinations. Welcome to my life every day of the week, everybody. Yeah, just oh. Parasitoil. Yeah, whatever. Micro. Parasitoil. Microbial diseases. <laughs> After I figure out how to read this, we'll be back after these messages. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, there are many species of prastatoid that is frequently <laughs> or even routinely kill their prey without consuming much of it. This apparently wasteful strategy sometimes might have the effect of reducing the risk that the prey could escape or offer resistance. Cybos no, symbiosis. symbiosis is a close and often long-term interaction between two or more different biological species. Bennett used the word symbiosis. <laughs> symbiosis to sharply define mutualistic, <laughs> mutualistic relationship in the lichens in the 1877. The captain has informed us on no uncertain terms that we need to return to HQ. Um, but there seems to be some sort of technical hitch with the ship's engines, apparently. We'll have to make do with the samples we've already collected. I guess I better pack up all our stuff. Samuel said he saw Simmons today. He said he was ghastly. I tried to tell him something. He could only point. Before he collapsed. Oh, I've uh, double-checked the DNA analyzer and it's working fine. I think it's picking up some sort of background contamination. Uh, it could be in the ear. I'm gonna get myself a respirator. Well, she's the smartest one out of this freaking crew. There's something seriously wrong with Simmons. I think he needs urgent medical help. 
The engine is not responding, though. Problem seems to be in the line drive one. Still no response from the company. Could be interference or something. I'd better set a, a distress beacon. Well, we'll be back in a little bit after, you know, some time to recuperate from this scary, horrific sight. You know? And, uh, thank you for watching. If you have a comment on what you would have done differently or how you would react if this guy lifted off the freaking table right now, leave a comment in the comment section below. And please hit that like and subscribe. Should I be following this thing right now? This is not a good idea. Woo, I'm in a cold sweat. You guys can't see this right now, but I'm freaking out, man.